just in case you missed it, last time on Frugal Couple. Alrighty, guys. So we are just getting back home. Y'all, we went a lot of places tonight. This is not all from one store. Hi, Mercy. Hey, you guys. Welcome back to another video. I'm trying to work on this lighting. We are at Dollar General. See a few little things in here. Got some oh. bleach, got some sausage. I see some sugar right there. That marina. You remember we used to find that at all these? We used to find that all the time. This bleach would be good to take. We'd have to put it in the back though, because I think it's leaking. I can smell it. I don't it's want you to put leaking. this in your back seat. Nope. I can't do that. You'd have tie dye. We already found some spinach. All right, guys. So, oh, babe, I think there's some frozen vegetables in here. Huh? Can you dig this out right here? Well, it used to be frozen. Oh, they're bad. Oh, shoot. Oh, gosh. Sorry, guys. They are, oh, man, this is a box of green beans. Oh, they, they would have been so. Oh, they are gone. So yeah, this is a box of green beans, but it's actually came out here while I was out here in the daytime. All right, guys. So the green beans were a bust. They were all um, they were all thawed out. So they have been out here for quite a little while. So oh well, win some, you lose some. You see this puddle of bleach? Now, here's the deal about this store. I don't think that they are intentionally like dumping this or souping it with bleach. Like they've never destroyed stuff. I think all this bleach just busted, honestly. Cause you see how these bottles are just kind of all whatever. So I don't think they did it on purpose. At least I don't think so. You never know, but let's see. Is anything else in here? What is this? Something. Something's all broken in here. Oh, okay, little candle things. Tea light holders, that's what they're called. Let me get a box. Okay. Some of this stuff, yeah, I don't know what it is. Yeah, this is broken. Hmm, okay. So, y'all, we're taking this meat. It's a little warmer to the touch than I'd like. I think it's still good. However, I don't want to give it to anybody. Plus, it has this bleach and stuff on it. Not that any of it, you know, has holes or anything, but just kind of airing on the side of cautiousness. So, we'll probably take it, wash it, cook it, and give it to the kitties. Oh, hey, babe. Once you get a chance, can you help me dig this sack out? It's something in here. I don't know what, though. This sack right there. You see that? Mm -hmm. Looks like it has things of hair supplies, maybe. Dang, we still. Y'all, we forgot the step stool again. So, yeah, you guys, we've actually had it at the house because we've been using it to put up stuff in all the cabinets and stuff we have. Well, I have. He doesn't really need it to, but I do. Um, so, it's at the house. We keep forgetting to bring it. So, don't really need it. We've already been by all these. Wasn't much there. Okay, this is the one I was looking at. Are these empty? I don't know what they are, but... Is that bleach on your hand? Let me get over here. Is something in there? Oh, gosh. This is hairspray. Is something in there? Yeah. Oh, what? Y'all, babe just found these. This these is. Are... Oh, they're... Yeah. yeah, it's hairspray. It's hairspray. Oh, heck yeah. We need another. We need a box. Yeah. What? Ow. Crap. Just scratched my arm. Oh, what about that enough. one? I mean. We can stand them up in there. Are all those. Everything on this side was kind of bleached. Honestly. 
Here, I, I brought a bag for the kitties. We can use that. Oh, you Is guys. Yeah, I mean, it's empty enough. We found some hairspray. And bread. You can give them to me, I'll put them in. All right, guys, so we're gonna finish up here and I will show you everything we got once we get home. All righty, guys, so we are just getting home. Well, not just getting home, hold on. It's the next day. <laughs> I'm just getting home from somewhere else, but I was like, let me go ahead and shoot this video. Now, disclaimer, all this stuff was in the fridge, so it's still cool, a cool, um, and all of that. And yeah, I wanna go ahead and show you what we got once again this is a video in the new house so everything is going to look different but right now we have tons of stuff everywhere so please excuse that and y'all one thing i'm struggling with i have no idea where i'm going to film because um yeah <laughs> i don't know so we have a lot of things that we're going to be working out pretty soon but let's get right into it you guys saw us get this um john morrell polish sausage once again this was from the dollar tree that's where this is from dollar tree and these are just packs of polish sausage now these were not horribly cold when we got them but they definitely weren't bad. Like, I think they're still edible, but what I will do is probably cook them and give them to the kitties. Sometimes the animals can tolerate like a little more than humans can. Now, if it were bad, I wouldn't be giving it to them. Let me just say that. I don't give the kitties bad meat. Okay, so instead of all of this going to waste, I know it's still edible by them. It's not gonna make them sick. Um, anything like that and actually I think humans can eat it and be fine it's just a certain rule of mine because of the work I do if something is above a certain temperature even if it's only by three degrees like these were I'm not gonna give it it just I'm not gonna give it so these will be all kitty food but I definitely have some packs here um let's see three six nine 12 13 14 15 16 about 17 packs of sausage so that is pretty darn good if you ask me now let's get into this you guys what? okay so this is the salon selectives volumizing hairspray here it's weightless it amplifies volume with the all day hold on the strength meter, it comes in at a two and it is anti-humidity, which is great for Oklahoma or any other state that has super high humidity. So I am so excited to get these. I don't know about you all, but I've really been doing absolutely nothing with my hair throughout this whole pandemic. As a matter of fact, since I've had this YouTube channel, which we started um, right before the pandemic, I have really... <sighs> Oh my gosh. Now you, huh? Uh-uh, because you're going to knock this over. Come on. All right. Sorry, guys. So we started the channel immediately before the pandemic. And I'm sure you guys have really only seen me with a bun. I don't do anything with my hair. Not anymore, at least. But I want to get back to kind of doing me. So this hairspray is going to be great. Now, I'm not going to keep all of it. I don't think there's any way I can use all of this hairspray. So what I'm going to do is keep some. I'm going to gift some to friends and family and then I am going to donate some. Okay, so I know I said I was gonna probably donate this to a domestic violent shelter or service, wraparound services. Um, let me say this before you guys come for me in the comments. <laughs> I know that hairspray is not gonna just, you know, make everything better if you're dealing with a victim of domestic violence. However, I feel like when you're rebuilding your life, you focus on the big stuff food, shelter, clothing, all like that. That's where your money goes. And you may not have money for little treats like this. I, you know, it's just, it's how it is. I work in social services, so that's how it is. So um, I feel like donating this would at least help alleviate that cost. And also sometimes it's good to make people feel good and feel pretty and feel beautiful and get into the whole vibe of taking care of yourself again. You know, sometimes victims so sometimes women that have experienced that have been you know figuratively beat down so much they may not 
feel good about themselves anymore. So hopefully the hairspray helps with that. I know it's just hairspray. And I'm going into this disclaimer <laughs> because I was on the phone with a cousin of mine and she was just saying like, that's stupid. If they're victims of domestic violence, if they're experiencing that type of situation, they don't want hairspray. But I disagree, you know, I just, I disagree. Let's make them feel wanted and beautiful and pretty and strong and everything else. And besides, I have this hairspray. What am I going to do with it? You know, I might as well give it to people than just sit here, put it in a box and keep it in my garage because I don't need this much hairspray. All right, guys. So not a whole lot. Now, we also got about five bottles of bleach. It's still outside because some of it was kind of leaking. I had to take the top off and screw it back on and they stopped leaking but the bottles were smashed up so I'm assuming that's why they threw it away but so we do have that but like I said it's outside I didn't want to bring it in but this is two days haul or actually yesterday's haul I think it's great I'm super excited I got some stuff for the cats and I get some stuff that I get to donate to friends families and people that I don't know which is cool and keep for myself so hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video don't forget give it a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and we will be seeing you very soon in the next video bye guys